yeah so what my sister didn't explain was uh, we we tried a couple of times to back down this track with the Land Rover uh, we could just couldn't get anywhere the trailer kept locking up so uh, we had to park the Land Rover up I ran home because there's just a footpath it's not that far away by foot to get home so I ran home brought the tractor and then this was like seventh attempt at backing down this track which in the track there was no problem at all. I feel 
what I get to cut for free. It's a very wet field and it's got a load of rushes on it over the winter so it will need spraying if it ever gets dry enough to um, get on it. I'm half wondering about just uh, borrowing some dual wheels and just get on and spread some lime and fertiliser and maybe do a few bits of rolling if I need to. Oh, my sister's coming now. She must have given up the search. So, yeah, when one, one person retires, it opens up a few opportunities, doesn't it? Unfortunately, the farm, I don't think will be available because I'd love to have the whole farm, it's, quite, it's like a 400 acre farm, but I think the estate who own it are taking it all back in house to farm it themselves in theory, so we shall see how that pans out. So we've just loaded up the second load for the last time, now we're going to take them home and the jobs are good. Uh, realised that I've lost my roller which I thought was in that field. I'm racking my brain now trying to think where I've left it or has someone nicked it. It wasn't exactly a good roll. It was quite a rickety roller. I don't know why anyone would have nicked it. So the only thing I can think of is the landlord's maybe nicked it to roll his garden meadow with. So I'll have to ask him. Anyway, take these sheep home and jobs are good. Down the bumpy path. Dan's gone on his travels today, said goodbye. He's getting there, uh, what's he doing? He's getting the train tomorrow morning Great. to London. visiting some friends and then he's going getting the train down to Lyon and then he's going to set off and embark on his journey down, down the Danube down the Danube Danube? Danube? I don't know Danube <laughs> so I'm going to see if he'll send uh, regular updates um, that I can put in the videos so we can all just track how he's getting on. Because I think collectively everyone's a little bit worried about him. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit concerned. And we're taking bets as well on how long it'll last. Yeah, how long will it be? Yeah. I don't know. Have we? That's no. what we did. Well, I can't no. remember what I said. We've taken bets on something else, but not that. Yeah, we'll have to do that. He, he's saying five months, but. I think well, maybe more like five weeks. He either runs out of money, runs out of patience, or he's gonna lose his bike. He gets his bike nicked. Uh, those are the three things that probably send him home. Or he falls off his bike and breaks his leg. And we'll have to go and get him. Someone will have to go and fetch him. He'll have to put some speed tires on the tractor. I'm sure about that. So yeah. Good luck to him and we'll see how he gets on. Hopefully he'll send us some clips. So yeah. Well that'll give you some extra material. I'm hoping so, yeah, because it's getting a bit sparse, isn't it? <laughs> We've taken to buying We've taken to down greenhouses. We've had to send down the way just so we can get some extra material. You're in you're got you've got to fill down this place in taking down the greenhouse. Yeah, I'll have to do it. Find the roller. Pump the roller. Find the roller. Right, we'll just uh, bed all the cattle up and scrape them out. And then mop with another load of str another load of muck. Never ending.
muck moving operation that we seem to find ourselves in. Myself. So yeah, everyone's left me on my own. It's evening time now. Uh, so I've not had a bad day for a Sunday. Hopefully get to market in the morning, take a load of sheep. I'm not expecting them to uh, top the market or anything, but because sheep prices are so high, they'll probably do all right compared to what I paid for them. I just don't know what it, where it leaves me with buying more, you know, replacements. But I'll have to have a look at some of the market reports and figure out what's going on. I don't know if it's probably worth holding off. But then you'd think, Christ, do you think if there was a time when people would be holding off buying sheep? store sheet it'd be now wouldn't you you know with the wet wet ground and wet weather so you know you think that the demand wouldn't be quite as high but I don't know I can't figure it out I can't figure out livestock demand I'm sure someone understands it <clears throat> so they're on they're on there haven't they Frolic around the orchard for tonight. Sorry, I should. I need to face. I'm using the old camera, and I'm, you need to be facing it for you to be able to hear me, really. So yeah, we've had uh, two nice days. We had a little bit of rain yesterday while we were doing the greenhouse. Um, I don't think we've had it. I don't think we've had anything today. Maybe a couple of spits this morning. But. No, it's nice, you know, when, when on dry bits of ground you can see it's drying up, but then we're still driving around, there's still water sat on the fields where it doesn't normally sit, so I don't know. What to do? Anyway, keep your head up and uh, keep plodding on. I think is the only thing you can do. Um, I don't know whether I've said, I put the light up in the bullets. They're on 11 hours of light now because I think I've already said this. But, um, Dan thinks he's got his blood wash system all working. Oh, I hope he has because you know I wouldn't have a clue what to do with it if it needs. He'll have to like talk me through it if it needs any alterations but the water dump last night and it Turn the water back on this morning on its own, so fingers crossed it'll uh, be good. And uh, uh, having fresh water will hopefully get those bullets off to a good start in another week or so. So, looking forward to that. Looking forward to being flush with eggs again. So, yeah, I've got about 20 sheep left. Skinny scabby ones. So, I don't know. This fella still wants his field greens. I have a feeling he's been, he's opened his padlock. I saw him pull over it before. I think he's in padlock the gate. So I'll have to give him a ring. It's very wet that field though. You can see water sat on it. So it's very wet when the sheep are now. There's loads of grass. So 20 sheep aren't going to hurt it. Don't think. Anyway, I'll stop rambling on, I'm going to tip this mock and then feed me carbs, so I might end the video here.